Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous session, we have learned about the display inline display block and also the display inline block. Also, we have seen it. Now, in this session, we will try to learn about the display table. Some sometimes in our CSS or somewhere, you will be able to see about the display table. They will be using the display table in some cases. So let's try to see what is the display table and how it will be useful the display table in the CSS. Let's try to see it. For example, let's say that display table means nothing but showing the div elements as a table. So the display table will be useful for showing the div elements as a table. For example, let's say that I'm having a div and here I'm ha be having a table. So here we will be having a T head or otherwise uh, yeah, we can have it like this and TR and th let's assume so th right so th and i can remove this yh so th and here i'll be having id and a name let's assume and here i can have t body in this one tr so td id will be one and another name will be something like lila one and another tr also let's try to take it and here i'll be having id2 and lila2 that's it so this is somewhat looks like a table if i try to see the output here we are able to see a table if i want to make it center means i can use something like style width of 200 pixel and margin auto we can make it margin auto so that it will be at the center if you try to see the output yeah so this is at the center and this one is an id right so because of that reason it is coming at the center or otherwise we can remove this td and we can make it as instead of having th we can make it as a td also so then it will come it as id name and this one so fine so now what i want to do is i want to show the same table like structure but the data with the div elements i want to show it as a table so how can we show this one so let's try to see it so here also i'm having a div okay and this div let's say that instead of having this table we'll try to keep this div as like this okay then also it will be like this only okay now let's say that instead of having this div i will take the same div <coughs> i'll keep the style and here let's say that i am having a div element so this one is a table like structure okay i will be using class is equal table so we don't have any css for that one just i am keeping the class let's remember so first row we need to have a row so i can have div class is equal to row so this is the row and there will be two columns there is nothing but div is class is equal to column and here i have id and we can represent it as a name so this is one row and i can have the same row and here i will be having one and here lila one and the same row i can take here i can show it as two and here it is lila two so this is the table so if you try to see the output here so these are all coming one by one why because these are all block level elements so that is the reason these are all coming one by one down so in order to make to show same as the structure so what i can do is this is the table right i can go to the css so i can take this table and instead of having here i can maintain it as a display table that's it now here we are having a row right i can take this row and for this one we can mention it as display table row okay so table row and here columns are there right so we can mention it as in dot column and here i can mention this one as table display display table cell that's it so now if you try to see the output so it will behave same like a table only so how the table structure is looking so here also we are able to see show that the same thing in the table way only we can have some margin and padding just like the cell padding and all those things it will be having right so cell padding and also and all those things if you add so it will look just look like a table only so now we have made in a such a way that the data which is in the div 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 elements so we made it look like a tabular form by using the display table table row and table cell so this is the use of this table so where can we use this in the real time so now okay fine i understood so in order to show the tabular structure of data for the div elements so we will be using this table and table row and table cell okay fine we understood so where in the real time can we use this one let's try to see it so for example let's say that i am removing these all things now we understood the 
how the display table solves the problem so in which scenarios we can use it let's say i am having a development okay so this is a paragraph i'm having like this and i have having another development so here you will be having some extra some some more paragraphs okay and here i'll be having another due so this is another paragraph so this is the table we are having okay so now each due what i will try to do here let's try to wrap it in a container due class is equal to container okay and each one will be a class is equal to so what i can do here so each one i will make it as a column okay column and let's copy this one so for here also i will make it as a column and here also i'll make it as a column so for this time being let's remove this all the code so this is how we are having so we are having a due element parent content parent with a class container and two due elements child elements are there with a class of column so if you try to see the output so these all will come one by one down so this is one due and this is one due this is one due as these are all block level elements so what i want to do is i want to show these all the elements side by side one thing what i can do is here for the column i can maintain width of 100 pixel so one thing so one width of 100 pixel now each one will take a width of 100 pixel so nice it's looking fine i want to get these all the blocks side by side okay so if i want to make side by side means one thing is display inline block i can make it as inline block inline block now all the things will come side by side so fine these all things came side by side so let's wrap it with a background color so how it will look like so background color i will wrap it with a red color now if you try to see the output so see here if you try to see this is the data so whichever is having the highest data so we are able to wrap it with uh, red color and here the content what is there so that that much content only is wrapped with a background color red so but here the complete empty space is left over so if i want to show it at the top so this is paragraph it is showing at that bottom so if i want to show it at the top so then what i can do here instead of having this one display inline block we can use the float left we'll try to learn about this float left concept also afterwards i'm trying to show you if i try to use this float left we are able to get the, the top but i don't want like this behavior so i want to take the complete height of this whatever the maximum height it is taking any of the due so remaining dues also has to take the maximum height so i want to do it like this so this can be achieved only through the table cell so what i can do here for this container i can wrap it with display table okay so we can use we can get it using the flex also but we know we haven't learned up to know the flex so we are learning this one container we have made it as a display table and in the column so what i will try to do i will try to display it as a table cell that's it so now if you try to see the output so how it will look like let's see so if you try to see the output now see so now the remaining two paragraphs which is present at the left and right side so it as the content is also uh, as the content in spite of that one it is very less also it is able to cover the maximum height of the dues so in these scenarios we can make use of this display table cell and we can apply the background color or any background image if you want to apply you can use it so this is the use of this table cell so this is all about this is about this is the scenarios where we will be using this table and the table row and the table cell so we have learned about this table concept in the real time also where we will be using hope you understood about this one if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you